Hey, it's Joe with Jolie Farms here in Ecuador. It's a really sunny, hot afternoon. I wanted to show you some of the failures that we have in Ecuador. Not everything is wonderful here. Just as with any place that you go, there are challenges with gardening and growing food, challenges with getting acclimated to a new location and understanding uh, growing where you're at. So this is a bed right here that we had sweet potatoes in. And the sweet potatoes did really good. We had two different crops and we decided to pull them up. As you can see, we've still got volunteers coming back. And I planted this entire bed full of um, corn, with blue corn specifically. And I did the little seedlings. You'll see in our seedling video that we did. And we planted them in the ground. And if you look down here right now, I have a few stalks that are just really nice and beautiful. But, I mean, I've got probably 10% of what we planted. So what in the world happened? Well, the best thing that I can figure, I've looked. We don't have any grubs in the ground here or anything like that. But it looks like we've had some rabbits. And our dogs killed one this morning. They, uh, they're they very good hunters. And uh, these rabbits get inside our wall uh, through a little gap in our front gate and our sliding gate. We can't really block them off. And so every once in a while they get in and it looks like the rabbits just chopped off those little seedlings right at ground level. I've not seen any sign of any worms at all. This corn here is perfectly healthy and uh, the rabbits got their fill and moved on. So these are big enough now the rabbits aren't bothering them. So the better thing for me to do here would have been to cover this with the insect netting and that probably would have kept the rabbits out as well. So we're going to make a little bit of corn here but not very much. As you may know, it takes a lot of corn to pollinate each other really well. So this is barely enough corn to, to pollinate. But we'll let you know in a future video how the corn harvest turns out. Okay, so I'm going to show you another failure we have here in Ecuador. Just mistakes that we make. So here we are in one of our upper beds. It's actually a hygge culture bed. So in this bed we have some zucchini here. And this zucchini, as you can see, has powdery mildew on it. And I know everyone's got a home solution for this type of thing, a home remedy. But I'll just tell you, I don't care how much you spray it and treat it, when zucchini gets to the end of its life cycle, it's going to get this and it's no longer going to produce. These are ready to come out. But these are not the failure I want to show you. We did get some zucchini from these plants. What I want to show you is a spaghetti squash that was planted in here. And you can see this one's been eaten all out completely from worms. And we get these little green worms here that just bore into it. And uh, we'll just eat the insides out real quickly. Matter of fact, a lot of people here in Ecuador don't even want to grow spaghetti squash because it's so hard. Now we do have these hoops on this bed where we could have insect screened this off. And we probably should have left it that way. We thought we were out of the worm season, um, but we planted this all a little too early. And we still got some of the, uh, the cabbage moss, if you will, the little green worms that come with that. So yeah, not everything is easy here in Ecuador. We do have our failures. We grow some great products and some great food, but not everything is always 100% spot on. All right, I hope you learned something from this video. If you got questions, please ask us. Make sure you hit that like button, a little thumbs up for us. Appreciate it.